pretty day out here, Anna Maria. Well, hello, and welcome back. We're actually sitting in a 320C right here. It's bright and early. We're at Safe Harbor Marina. This customer actually watches my video, so he'll get to see the stuff we're doing here. And we're going to focus on a couple things here because we got to sort a couple things out. So let's just get started. All right, it might get a little noisy around here because we have people buffing and obviously our forklift here runs a lot. But we have triple 300s here, V8s. We have the cowl recall to do, no big deal. You've seen that before you watch my videos. Here's one thing we're gonna focus on is right here, this bar is loose. So we're gonna pull this down and hopefully tighten it up on the top here. Hopefully it doesn't take too much to disassemble, but it might be a little tricky, but we're gonna tackle that. I gotta update the Simrads, that's no big deal. I'll have to show you that. But another one we got here that's gonna take a little effort here is our water tank. I got a brand new one because when they installed this, I didn't even notice it, you gotta really look. Let's see if we can get our phone in here and see. You can see there, there is a crack because it looks like they over tightened it and it's leaking water out of it when it gets to that point. So that's our fill right there. There is our vent. And on the other side here, we have our water line down there, the blue line. But we gotta get rid of this first here, basically the pole, get our wiring out of there, and then take our fittings off here, and hopefully we can finagle this thing out, because if you look, it almost fits perfectly in here. So we're gonna start with this. We'll get the water tank going here, and uh, I'll just kinda go step by step as we go. So let me get this bracket out of the way. It should just be screwed into the wall on each side, and we'll cut our wiring out. Okay, well that was the easy part. These are just uh, spaded together here so they came apart easy. I took a picture of the wiring. That's always a good idea because the other side doesn't exactly match. The wires are a little bit different, but no big deal. Just make sure you write something down or color code it, whatever you gotta do to, if you're changing a tank or anything with wiring because sometimes you can get confused and then it takes you forever to try to figure out what's what. We got our bar off there and now the tank the customer emptied it for me, so thank you for that. It is loose, and we got to get this line off first, I think, here. The one that's down here. I'm going to reach down there, get that, and then we've sealed these ones on. So I'm going to pop those off, and hopefully this thing will just lift out. So let me get all these fittings off real quick, because I'm going to need both my arms for sure. Okay, we have uh, our fittings off of this side here, and I can't reach that one no matter how I wiggle it. So what I think I can do is pull this thing up and out and then get that off because we have enough hose there in order to pull it out so I can unscrew the fitting there and we'll have to put it on before we put the new one back in here. So let me attempt to uh, pull this tank out here. I think if we go up and out this way we might get it. It is almost perfectly sized. I can reach the fitting now. That might help us get it out. That's it. All right, now let's get this tank up and out of here and we'll take a look at this one compared to the other one and make sure it's the same thing. Here is our new tank and here is our old tank. They are exactly the same. I just checked all the measurements. I'm going to show you something here too so you understand how our senders work. So this is how our levels work. As the water fills up, it grounds these sticks basically. And that's what how it knows your level by the resistance of the wires. And as it goes up, it's like oh a half full, three quarter, full, quarter. And then it'll just beep at you and say you're empty when you're down here. I'm also going to have to cut these wires, put spades on them. We'll do that last after we get it installed and filled up. And clean this hole out that was leaking water in here because obviously it's made a mess. So I'll bail the water out and I got some good cleaner. We'll get all this cleaned out prior to putting the new tank in. So let me get that done and we'll uh, cut to putting our tank in the hole here. Well looky there, we are nice and clean now. I also put the fitting on for our water line there, so when I put it in, I can reach when the tank's tilted. 
to put it on because it's almost impossible you can't get your arm in that side of it with that on the very bottom and I'm using thread sealer for all of our threads here for our fittings when we're putting it back together so let's get the tank in now it's like a glove set it right in there first try our wiring is good over here let's get that hose connection on One of our sticky pieces fell off. Not a big deal because it's going to smash it down anyways. Make sure that stays. Seems good and stable there. Got to go forward a little bit in order to meet that bar, but. I think we're good. Now, let me get my uh, fittings in here. We'll tidy that up. Get my bar across here. Got some connections to do here, and we'll put some water in it, make sure she don't leak. Okay, after fighting with all this, our fittings are in. We're good here, here. We're tight on there, and before I wire it, we got our bar put in here. She's nice and tight in here. Before I wire that up, I'm gonna go fill it with water. Completely full coming out of the vent make sure we got no leaks anywhere so in case I have to pull the tank back out fix a leak or something but this thread sealer should work so let's go fill it up all right we got our hose up in our fill here let's go turn the water on I had to rob a hose all the way around to the front all right let's make sure we got no leaks she's filling we'll let her fill all the way up So far, so good. Nothing dripping. Stick our flashlight down here. I think we're good. And no leaks down there. I wonder if I can zoom in. Focus camera. It's funny you can see the reflection of the water filling. We've got no leaks. Well, so far, so good here. I'm going to let this fill up all the way. I'm going to run to the van and get some wire connectors here and. Uh, We'll get it connected. We'll check on top here and make sure our gauge is working and says it's full. Move on to the next thing. All right, here we go. We are done. Actually, rerouted the wiring a little bit, put it further back, kind of tucked it in there so it won't get pinched anywhere here. And I used heat shrink connectors. I cut out all of our connectors here and hardwire them so if we get moisture or anything else, it ain't going to bother them because these are not sealed completely. Now, let's just check our uh, gauge here and see if it's working. Be able to push our button here she's full look at that like I say I'll double check it and make sure that uh, we don't have any more leaks or anything but so far so good I see no water or anything around anything here and uh, we're gonna leave her alone let's move on to the next thing all right for the sake of the video here I'm gonna try to make this fast because what we're doing here takes a little bit of time but what I have to do is pull all of our brackets off here there's one up underneath here too and pull all these apart so that stuff can kind of just stay still and slide this whole actuator out of the way so that I can pull this bracket off and tighten it up underneath here because it's loose on that bracket which made it fall down basically and we don't want that thing falling completely out of there so I will get all this loose and see if I can get that actuator out and I'll show you from there okay this one has uh, got me stuck this thing is binding so hard because of that thing being pushed down so far, that it won't, it does not go up anymore. You can't get any movement out of it. So it, it's binding itself into this back piece here. So we might have to ruin this actuator. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to call and see if, what they want us to do here because we might have to bend this a little bit in order to get it to stop binding. Cause now it's binding here, it's binding here and in the back side. So I'm going to uh, stop fighting with this here and get it all put back together so at least if the customer wants to use the boat he can because it ain't going to go anywhere being pinched inside of there so I'll slide it back in bolt it all back together and I'm going to call C Ray and say hey this is what's happening what do you want us to do do we want to pull this whole backside of that actuator apart 
basically ruin it, bend it a little bit because it already seems like it's bent because it, it binds when you twist it and then slap it back together. And that should actually work. But because of all of our spots where it's getting pinched, it's going to ruin it and probably scratch the crap out of it even more than I already have. So we definitely need to uh, resolve this, but it's going to take another day to uh, plan and get back out here and we'll get it done. So let me call C-Ray and uh, as always, I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Later. I like the name of the boat here. Shell yeah.